Hey guys, it's Jen. For those of you who don't know me, I am a second year pharmacy student and I currently work as a pharmacy intern at an independent pharmacy that also specializes in long-term care and compounding. Right now it is 9.17 a.m. and I'm actually running late. So hopefully I get there soon. I'm scheduled for 9.30 to 6.30. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to work and so you can see what it's like being as a pharmacy intern. take this time to go over what an intern is and how that's different from a regular tech. Interns are usually pharmacy students that are enrolled in a doctorate of pharmacy program and at least in the state of South Carolina in order to become a pharmacist we have to have 1500 hours of experience as an intern. Part of that has to be a paid internship. That's what I'm doing. In terms of the differences between an intern and a regular pharmacy tech, so there's two kinds of techs. There's a certified pharmacy technician and just a regular registered pharmacy technician that didn't take the certification test. And an intern's duties are more like the certified pharmacy technician compared to a regular technician. So some of the things that pharmacy interns are allowed to do that regular techs aren't. It's transferring prescriptions from store to store, contacting prescribers about medication validation or changing a prescription. They can't do DURs, which is drug utilization reviews. We do counseling. So when patients come up to the front desk and ask what can I take? That's something unique to interns is that we can practice under a pharmacist supervision when it comes to counseling and also pre-checking, not verifying at the end, but we can verify the orders as they come in as long as we don't verify the final product. I think those are just some of the key differences. I might have missed some, but those are like the key differences between a pharmacy intern and a technician. 